Hey everyone, Mira from the Mongoloids. I'm sitting here with Masato Takai, who's the store manager at Mitsuo Marketplace. Masa, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, more than welcome. What exactly is Mitsuwa? Well, here at this location is the largest Japanese grocery store in the Midwest. I call it the Mall of Japan. The closest store by is New Jersey, maybe, but that's two hours plane trip. So uh, we are the largest one out here in the Midwest. We mainly go with the Japanese groceries, food. Is that octopus? The tentacle, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Oh, you can see the things the on the suction cups? Yeah. <laughs> We also have other specialty stores like bookstores, video stores, uh, travel agency, cosmetics, supplements. So, you know, this is like the Japan. Oh, it's an illustration? Oh, I love this! My sister and me are obsessed with this one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy this afterwards. Come back and buy it. A great place to hide that. You put something <laughs> smaller than the, what you're trying I want to buy it. I'll put this here. Why don't you just put that on hold? Because we're filming. Nobody saw that. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Sorry, cameras. Hi, little tear. What do people respond to the most when they come to Mitsuwa? Uh, to Japanese people, they come in here, they're like, oh my god, it's like in Japan. You know, we're back in home. And to other customers, they're like, wow, it's a whole different new country, new place, and I've never been before. So it's different to each customer, but I think it's a, a place of discovery. People find something new, something useful. Wait, okay. Mira, what? What are, what are these? I actually have no idea. Are they like beginner chopsticks? No, those are noodles. Oh, I thought they were chopsticks. <laughs> now, yeah. these are chopsticks. <laughs> I can differentiate. Yeah. They're little boxes and stuff. Cute little carrying case. Is it hair dye? I think so. Will I look, like a, like, will a, I look like a doll? Like if a, I do this? Like a Lolita? A Lolita. Oh, hey, it's the blotting wipes. Those look like, kind of like yeah. manga characters, don't they? Or like anime a little bit? Oh, yeah. So I think this is a place for introducing our Japanese culture. And of course, right now, we're getting bigger on manga and anime things. Uh, we want to introduce that to a lot of people. I think it's the best thing is to find out all these people discovering and enjoying my, uh, my culture. We just wrapped up looking around at Mitsuwa and it was fantastic. What did you think of it, Dom? The store is huge. Um, I totally had a fangirl moment in the manga section earlier, so I have to go back. To see where I spend my free time now. <laughs>
Do you want to edit anime as a career? That would be an ideal dream for me to like be able to help edit anime or movies or put together things like that, trailers. Well, you know, if I can't do that, you know, there's always movies in Hollywood. Now, the cosplay outfit that you're wearing right now, is that something that you bought? Or? Uh, I actually made this outfit. I made the corset and I got the dress together, put the stockings together. It, it was fun to make. Whoa. <laughs> Um, hello. Hello. Yeah, you changed? <laughs> yeah, I put on my other cosplay outfit. This uh, is one that's really popular at conventions. What are you? <laughs> I am Lucy from Elf and Lead. Did you make this? Yeah, I actually made this whole entire outfit. Okay. Hat included? Hat. Um, I made the skirt, the shirt. Uh, the only thing I didn't make was the wig. Jillian, thank you so much for coming out and showing us your fabulous outfit. No problem, <laughs> it was really fun. Okay. This is Mira from Mongoloid Sun and now, bye bye. <laughs>well, I looked at, at the list of places that we were gonna we were scheduled to go to in Chicago and the best bet was one of the AGO houses, so I called Jillian up. Um, Jillian got really excited on the phone. <laughs> Sorry, like I could hear her talking to her mom and dad, and they said, "I don't care what you do as long as it's in your room." Hey guys, hello. 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 Okay, so, so we're so like, we're at Jillian's house in her room finally. In my house. <laughs> we're about to move this bookshelf for where the mural will be painted. I've heard a rumor that if you go to IKEA and you tell them that things are falling apart, the worst place. Oh. Sketching. Beginnings of a cherry blossom tree. Pop. Popping. Here's all the cherry blossoms. Here is the sketch of the drawing. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>
Wizard World, the last con, Mongoloids, you guys always get conventions. Curse, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's more like, it's like Comic Con, but not. <laughs> like, like Star Trek is Star Wars mostly. It is, yeah. yeah there wasn't really that much stuff. Yeah, yeah it's just a smaller scale. I was talking to somebody in the convention and they said that a lot of the big companies like DC, Marvel, all that sort of thing, they stopped coming a few years ago. So they, there's still a lot of foot traffic, but it has ex, um, experienced a less of like that grandeur that used to be. Jillian, our AGO candidate, was saying that at Mitsuwa, the place we go to, people often cosplay there. And we didn't get to see it, but you could tell that definitely people would come there to cosplay because of the way it was set up and the environment and there was manga and so much Japanese culture. Sorry, I just miss you guys. Like, it's gonna be really weird to wake up and not see everyone in the morning because it's just, you guys have become my family on the road. So next week, we don't have any more cities to go to. We'll be revealing, of course, the Otaku 6 challenge, but most importantly, who America's greatest otaku is. So, till next week, everyone, see you then. Bye.